Hello, my name is Nada and I'm currently head girl. Hi, my name is Ollie and I'm currently head boy. So I joined when I was three, when uh, St Edmund's Prep was actually St Hugh's. And a lot of people say to me, why have you been here for so long? How come you've been in the same environment for 15 years? Like, do you not want anything new? There's no place that I would want to have grown up in other than here. And I never felt the need to move somewhere else or be in a different environment want to be anywhere else. So my experience was slightly different to Nada's. I didn't join in the prep, I instead joined in year seven. Uh, I guess the first change I had to get used to was the year group names, because we call it elements here. Um, but aside from that, I think the transition phase from primary school to secondary school in particular was particularly um, good at St Edmunds, primarily because of the pastoral side um, and the communal activities that you get to do in elements, particularly the elements camp, which is a few weeks into school, where the whole year group goes down for a couple of days, really gets to know each other, participates in a number of activities, physical, team building, things like that. And it's just a really nice way to break in um, the new year group, get to know everyone alongside your teachers, your fellow pupils, and then start the year on a really good note. Whether you come in from the prep or you come from a different school, that like change from year six to year seven, that jump is always going to be quite daunting. And being an 11 year old in such a huge environment can be very scary. Like I remember being quite intimidated. Um, but here we do have programs to kind of um, take away a bit of that stress. So um, there are elements mentoring programs, which was I was actually a part of, and so was Ollie. And um, well, this is where uh, Rhetoric One, so a year 12, will do weekly period sevens with the elements, um, kind of get to know each other, develop relationships, and this kind of takes away a bit of the fear side and kind of makes the environment very inclusive for all ages. Yeah, just further to what Nada said, as well as the tutor system, we also have a closely knit and inclusive house system. Uh, so we have house assemblies every Friday. Uh, um, amongst the five houses and you get put into houses when you come and one of my favorite things in year seven was look to looking forward to house competitions in particular and these range from all types of things to into house music into house drama as well as sport competitions into house food and i think that's a really good way to build cross year group relationships so not only in elements are you getting to know the people in your year um, and obviously as nada said the rhetoric mentors but you're also getting to know people in your house um, and you get to work with them in teams uh, towards competitions and uh, hopefully winning the Intel's trophy at the end of the year. Um, I think one of the probably biggest achievements for both of us is in year nine, Ollie and I were in an accelerated maths class and we had at the time um, suggested that we did the maths GCSE then in year nine um, and I'm pretty sure we all laughed and like we didn't think she was being serious because that's just completely crazy to do a GCSE when you're 14. But Miss and the Maths Department, they really believed in us, they encouraged us, they pushed us, did extra revision sessions, um, give, gave us extra help and we did actually, we did end up doing it and we did get amazing grades and I think when you look at it at face value it's very easy to think, oh wow that's so amazing, that's so impressive um, for us and it is because we did work hard but it wasn't just us, it wasn't, we can't take all the credit for it. Um, it was what was put into it, um, it was the maths department, they saw our potential and they encouraged us to fulfil it. Yeah, I think the level of support um, from staff to students across the board, so at all levels and all subjects, is really strong. And I think the curriculum and the extracurricular activities that are built around that really nurtures a student and what they're interested in. But one of the things I think is particularly unique um, about sort of lower school, key stage three, key stage four life is the challenge and stretch program. Mm -hmm. So for top students pushing in certain academic disciplines, um, as well as pushing students um, who are particularly interested, have a particular path. This was the GSK challenge in year nine, where a team of students, um, myself included, went over and designed a project that we carried out for six months um, to sort of influence health, healthy eating and things like that within the school. Yeah, and I think even if you don't, if you aren't part of the challenges stretch group and you need, you require any extra assistance, it's all very, every student here is treated with equal support, um, tailored to each person's strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> well, I myself have experience in uh, Scola Cantorum, which is the Latin name for our school choir. Um, that occurs on a Thursday, period seven, every week. Period seven is the hour slot we have at the end of the day to, to, to pursue what we want to do. 
Um, in this case, um, a group of about 60 to 100 usually um, take place in the music school. There's a school choir, so we have four sections, tenor, bass, soprano and alto. Um, we sing a range of secular and non-secular pieces. Um, we perform regularly in the chapel um, during Easter, Christmas, things like that. Things I personally was involved in, which I really enjoyed and which is also really unique about this school, is that every February the school puts on a college production. So the most recent example being Me and My Girl. Um, the year before was School of Rock. We put that on in the Spotlight Theatre in Broxbourne. Uh, not only the cast on stage gets involved, which is typically 50 to 60, but the backstage crew, the lighting, um, the sound, all, uh, all involves members of the student body. Um, so netball for me has been a major part of my journey here and I really don't think it would be the same without it. Um, so I've been lucky enough to be in a year with some very talented players and not only some very talented players but um, also my closest friends. In 2016 we reached the national finals and we actually came fourth. It's not just about the winning and the big tournaments, it's more about being in the team and having kind of that experience. So whether it was having top coaches come in for us or getting personalised kit or having special lunches, we really did get appreciated and it was very evident that our success did not go unnoticed. Yeah, so my sporting experience was primarily focused around the main sports that boys participate in throughout the year. So that's uh, rugby in uh, winter term, uh, football and then cricket. But also um, I was quite heavily involved in the track team. So from year 7 to year 10, um, in the summer months, a track team um, of all events in athletics uh, participates in the Harvardshire League um, and that can lead to further competitions if you're interested. My other main experience was of rugby in the winter term. We do have external people come in and help us with coaching sessions. Um, so we had Jim Hamilton come in and lead a Saracens rugby coaching session uh, across two days, which is really useful um, not only for the first team but for, for all the years to develop their basic skill sets. Um, so the thing that mostly appealed to me um, was the actual classroom size uh, in sixth form. So at the moment I take three subjects for A level. The small classroom sizes of six to seven um, in those subjects that I have at the moment um, would really allow me to develop my writing style, develop my verbal communication skills um, because there's so much time um, focused on that student alone. I think the second thing that made me stay here was the um, co-curricular academic qualifications that they offer here. So in particular the extended project qualification um, which is overseen by the head of sixth form, um, which I think is something really unique. Um, it helped me with my university application because not only it showed that I was interested in my subjects, um, because I'm hoping to take history next year, it showed that I was an active researcher of it. I think the main reason I say that is because of the, the support from the teachers. So on the one hand I really enjoyed arts and humanities, on the other hand I was kind of fascinated by science and maths and I know the science department especially had always kind of encouraged me to go into something healthcare related and again for picking A levels I wasn't sure but the support that I received for that um, allowed me to realise that yeah medicine is actually what I wanted to do. That support didn't just come in year 11, it was something that progressed the whole of my experience of secondary school. Here at St Ed's we have all faiths. Um, even though it is a Catholic school, so you don't have to necessarily be Catholic. However, I think the Christ-centred education that we do get is very evident in other aspects of our lives and I think it creates a really strong foundation. Uh, linking closely into what Nada said, I think it's very important that as a Catholic school um, we propose the Catholic faith, we don't impose the Catholic faith. Um, we get to explore um, key issues from a spiritual and religious perspective but also from a uh, secular perspective. And perhaps my favourite aspect of religious life is the charity week. Um, and we all gel together as a community um, with the teachers uh, from year seven to rhetoric um, to raise money. I personally have been involved with um, events like the Sleep Out, which kind of raises awareness for homelessness. Um, so it's a night where you spend in the freezing, freezing chapel. Um, and this kind of gives you an insight into homelessness and it's quite a humbling experience as well as raising money. It's also about getting a personal insight and um, allowing us to more to empathise and to realise how lucky we are to be at an amazing school like this. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you here at the college soon.